It's been standing here for close to a century. Majestic. Stately. A mountain of 19th century architecture and good old fashioned American dreams and know how. A monument of steel and Bedford limestone. St. Louis's Union Station. When it was completed in 1894, Union Station became the railroad hub of a vast and growing nation. Over the decades that followed, this train station made a unique mark, not only on the railroad industry itself, but also on the people who journeyed through this train station. By the thousands and tens of thousands, eventually by the hundreds of thousands, they kept coming, heading east, or moving west, bound for new adventure, bound for home, bound for war. For close to 80 years, they kept coming. The railroad provided speed for travelers crisscrossing the country. By the 1960s, however, the railroads clearly were losing the transportation battle to the airplane and automobile. Union Station would pay a devastating price. This giant building, with its limestone walls and railroad tracks, became a victim of urban decay. Travelers running to catch trains were replaced by vagrants looking for shelter. This once noble Union Station had become a rotting pocket of poverty, a dying eyesore with no good use. But today, Union Station stands as proud and as majestic as ever. For this rock and steel bastion is now this country's hallmark of restoration, the bellwether of an extraordinary effort to preserve our past and link it with a promising future. Union Station has been reborn, recreated by a new breed of pioneers, financiers, developers, and craftsmen, armed with new skills, filled with vision and spirit, and driven by those good old-fashioned American dreams and know-how.